For almost seven years now, I have shared a title with Dina Harrison, the title of Bishop Suffragan of Texas. And over the years, I have known Dina, including the time before she was a bishop. I have filed away in my brain some of the pithy and short nuggets of wisdom that she has imparted to me and to many others over the years. I call this collection in my brain my Dina Harrison Book of Wisdom. I want to share some of the wise things that Dina has said over the years. But my problem is that many of those things are not appropriate to say in public. However, I will share a few things from my Dina Harrison book on wisdom. Sorry, Jim. I have a question. As an old bishop of the Diocese of Texas, and every day since I arrived, I have learned something new. During my first days at the Diocesan Center, I was listening in conversation about Bishop Dina Harrison's book of wisdom. <laughs> I did not understand well what it, what it was about, but it sounded like something very important. <laughs> so I looked for it in Google <laughs> and in Amazon, but I did not find it. Now I understand. What do you mean by Dina Harrison's book of wisdom? Could you be so kind as to share some of her words or phrases of wisdom, please? Oh, yes, Hector, I think I will. <laughs> when I was a parish priest in Waco, and Dina was my regional bishop, yeah. <laughs> Over at dinner one evening, I was confessing to her about the trials and tribulations of leading a congregation, to which Dina put her fork down, looked me straight in the eyes, and said this to me about parish ministry. Jeff, it's not rocket science. <laughs> it's just exhausting. <laughs> when I was struggling with an old and tired ministry opportunity, Dina said this, when your horse dies, dismount. <laughs> You know, Jeff, um, when Dina came to Costa Rica in 2013, I was a bishop there. And we celebrated a meeting and we invited all the priests. And one of, our, one of the priests in Costa Rica asked her how to handle the relations with the vestry, since sometimes there are people in the vestries who do not collaborate much. <laughs> I'm sure that only happens in Costa Rica. <laughs> she said, the solution to pollution is delusion. <laughs> yeah, the solution to pollution is delusion. If you have an unhealthy person on your vestry, bring on more healthy people, and they will eventually overtake the unhealthy people. And with Dean and I as fellow bishops together, I was describing her to her one day in great detail this new and creative ministry that I had come up with. To which Dina replied, Just remember, Jeff, every good idea 
eventually evolves into a lot of really hard work. <laughs> So please remember that in the postulancy time, have you heard this phrase, prepare for the unexpected? One particular priest remembers that at the end of the postulancy interview, she told him he needed to buy nicer socks to wear with his dress shoes. <laughs> I am a little concerned about the socks I'm wearing tonight. <laughs> Sandra and I, we respect and love you, Bishop Dina, for your kindness and for always having a word of wisdom. Thank you very much. And as Bishop Suffragan together, Susan and I have traveled with Dina and Larry to a lot of fun places around the country and around the whole world. We have loved our times together with a whole lot of laughs. I'm so glad that we get to honor you this evening for your ministry, for your friendship, and for the Dina Harrison Book of Wisdom. Thank you.